Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and a new episode of Spanners. So guys, in this one, I'm actually going to be changing the cabin filter um, on the little Corsa B um, because I've been flicking through the service history recently and it doesn't look like it's actually ever been changed. Now often the cabin filter gets missed because people think it isn't really important or relevant or, or whatever, but the fact is that the cabin filter, obviously, if you're a hay fever sufferer like me, is actually quite a useful thing. Because obviously all the cabin filter the cabin filter's job is to or it's also known as a pollen filter because it filters out all the pollen and everything like that. So yeah, in this one, we're going to be changing the cabin filter um, for a nice new one, which I have got here in this uh, little envelope here. And it's actually a uh, genuine new old stock one from GM, um, which is quite a uh, quite a nice thing to find. So yeah, obviously using genuine parts, obviously as and where we can. And it'll also be uh, interesting to see what state a cabin filter is after 26 years of use. Right then, so let's crack on. Right, so for this job, this is all the tools that I need. So I need, obviously, a Phillips screwdriver. I've got an adjustable spanner because I don't have a 21mm spanner. Um, well, I do somewhere, but I can't find it. So, yeah, obviously, either an adjustable or a 21mm spanner. Small uh, small ratchet. Got a 13mm socket with a small extension on it and a pair of pliers. That's all you need. And obviously, your air filter as well. So normally, obviously your cabin filter is usually located behind the glove box, but seeing as I don't actually have a glove box, it's not going to be there, is it? So like it is with all Corsa Bs, the, um, the cabin filter is actually under here, obviously under where the uh, scuttle is and everything like that. So yeah, so first job, obviously we're going to have to take the wipers off, obviously to take the uh, um, scuttle tray off, and then we need to remove this panel here and it should be just underneath there. Right now so that's the uh, that's the wipers off. So now obviously we need to take this panel off here. So we've got five screws, one here, there's another one up just here. Two on the other side in the same place and one in the middle. Obviously, this one obviously is to split the panel into two. So right, let's get on with that and crack that off. This one obviously might be a bit more difficult because we've got the wiper motor to deal with. And there we are, past your panel off. So the next thing we're gonna do, obviously we're just gonna remove this little rubber seal here. Should just be able to lift that off. There we go. So obviously I need to take the plastic panel out. So just that just lifts off and then pushes back in there. Before we take this plastic scuttle tray off, obviously we need to take off these little retainers. I'll retain it on that one's actually quite loose anyway. I might get away with that. Let's see if that one is. That one's not hand so These are a 21. Oh, I can't find my 21 spanner at the moment, so I'm just gonna have to use an adjustable. Crack that off, and then they should. So these aren't these don't really need to be tight because obviously all they are is just to secure that panel on. Right, so before I take the plastic panel off, I'm gonna need to take these two little plastic um, clips out, obviously where the screws go. 
Because obviously they don't want that to be rattling around, obviously, if we lose those. So there's number one. And there's number two. Put them, we're going to put those in a safe place with the rest of the screws and that. And now, we're ready to lift the panel off. So we should just be able to lift them off. It's quite thin plastic and obviously it's old plastic so I'm going to best not to break anything. So there is our cabin filter, and obviously we just pull the two clips out. It should have just pulled out. There we go. Oh my god. Yes. I don't know if you can see. Look how clogged up that is. I'll give you a I'll give you a comparison to the other one a sec. So I'll give you a little uh a little look as to the comparison of it. So obviously, this is the old one, and this is the new one, and look at the difference. <laughs> yeah, that's what your cabin filter looks like when it hasn't been changed for 26 years. And you're breathing that in, mind, like from your air vents and stuff. That's crazy. I cannot believe that's ever been done. And just looking at it, and it has got genuine GM markings on it, so it is going to be the original one. That is madness. Yeah, that's really bad. It's got fucking leaves and all sorts in it. Pfft. Yeah. So, right, let's get rid of that one. And we're going to put the new one in now. I have just cleaned that out in there quickly, just to make sure there's any you know, like leaves or anything like that. And obviously whilst uh, the scot is off, I'm just going to make sure. Um, I do do this quite regularly, get you know, take the panel off and clean behind here and stuff, but I'll just make sure that there's no dust. And then we're gonna, uh, yeah, we're gonna put the new filter back in. And there we are, guys. That's the new cabin filter back in, and that already looks loads better. So, yeah, right. So we're gonna uh, obviously put her back together now. Is that the same in reverse? Guys, so I've just uh, obviously started it up. Obviously, I'm just gonna test the wipers to make sure that they, yep, yeah, obviously they're back in the level position. Heater is good. So actually, that smells a bit better as well. But you can always tell, like the um, well, see, like, you know, you can tell the smell of a lot of it's more than likely that the pollen filter is clogged up stuff. Nice. So that's it guys, that is how to change your uh, pollen filter on Corsa B. Also I want to say one more thank you to um, Autovox, obviously they were the um, they were the company who supplied me with the uh, with the genuine filter. Um, so yeah, thank you very much guys, I really appreciate that, it's nice to um, see that companies are still selling, you know, new old stock for these cars, it's really great.
you like what you see, remember to give the video a like. Give me a subscribe as well. It really all helps. So thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one. Ta-da.